Question 84.13. Questioner, would you please do that? Answer, I am Ra. The energy transfer occurs in one releasing of the potential difference. This does not leap between green and green energy centers but is the sharing of the energies of each from red ray upwards. In this context it may be seen to be at its most efficient when both entities have orgasm simultaneously. However, it functions as transfer if either has the orgasm and indeed in the case of the physically expressed love between a mated pair which does not have the conclusion you call orgasm there is, nonetheless, a considerable amount of energy transferred due to the potential difference which has been raised as long as both entities are aware of this potential and release its strength to each other by desire of the will in a mental or mind complex dedication. You may see this practice as being used to generate energy transfers in some of your practices of what you may call other than Christian religious distortion systems of the law of one. Question 84.14 Questioner, could you give me an example of that last statement? Answer, I am Ra. We preface this example with the reminder that each system is quite distorted and its teachings always half lost. However, one such system is that called the Tantric Yoga. Question 84.15. Questioner, considering individual A and individual B, if individual A experiences the orgasm is the energy, then, transferred to individual B in a greater amount? Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. Your query is incomplete. Please restate. Question 84.16. Questioner. I am trying to determine whether the direction of energy transfer is a function of orgasm. Which entity gets the transferred energy? I know it's a dumb question, but I want to be sure that I have it cleared up. Answer, I am Ra. If both entities are well polarized and vibrating in green ray love any orgasm shall offer equal energy to both. Question 84.17 Questioner, I see. Before the veil can you describe any other physical difference that we haven't talked about yet with respect to the sexual energy transfers or relationships or anything prior to veiling? Answer, I am Ra. Perhaps the most critical difference of the veiling, before and after, was that before the mind, body, and spirit were veiled, entities were aware that each energy transfer and, indeed, very nearly all that proceeds from any intercourse, social or sexual, between two entities has its character and substance in time-space rather than space-time. The energies transferred during the sexual activity are not, properly speaking, of space-time. There is a great component of what you may call a metaphysical energy transferred. Indeed, the body complex as a whole is greatly misunderstood due to the post-veiling assumption that the physical manifestation called the body is subject only to physical stimuli. This is emphatically not so. Question 84.18 Questioner, after the veil, in our particular case now, we have, in the circuitry of which we were speaking, what you call blockages. Could you describe what occurs with the first blockage and what its effects are on each of the entities assuming that one blocks and the other does not or if both are blocked? Answer, I am Ra. This material has been covered previously. If both entities are blocked both will have an increased hunger for the same activity, seeking to unblock the baffled flow of energy. If one entity is blocked and the other vibrates in love, the entity baffled will hunger still but have a tendency to attempt to continue the procedure of satiating the increasing hunger with the one vibrating green ray due to an impression that this entity might prove helpful in this endeavor. The green ray active individual shall polarize slightly in the direction of service to others but have only the energy with which it began. Question 84.19 Questioner, I didn't mean to cover previously covered material. What I was actually attempting to do was discover something new in asking the question, so please if I ask any questions in the future that have already been covered don't bother to repeat the material. I am just searching the same area for the possibility of greater enlightenment with respect to this particular area since it seems to be one of the major areas of experience in our present condition of veiling that produces a very large amount of catalyst and I am trying to understand, to use a poor term, how this veiling process created a greater experience and how this experience evolved. These questions are very difficult to ask. It occurs to me that many statues or drawings of the one known as Lucifer or the devil are shown with an erection. 
Is this a function of orange ray blockage, and was this known in a minimal way by those who devised these statues and drawings? Answer, I am Ra. There is, of course, much other distortion involved in a discussion of any mythic archetypical form. However, we may answer in the affirmative and note that you are perceptive. Question 84.20 Questioner, with respect to the green, blue, and indigo transfers of energy, how would the mechanism for these transfers differ from the orange ray mechanism in making them possible or setting the groundwork for them? I know this is very difficult to ask and I may not be making any sense but what I am trying to do is gain an understanding of the foundation for the transfers in each of the rays and the preparations for the transfers or the fundamental requirements or biases and potentials for these transfers. Could you expand on that for me please? I am sorry for the poor question. Answer, I am Ra. We would take a moment to state in reply to a previous comment that we shall answer each query whether or not it has been previously covered for not to do so would be to baffle the flow of quite another transfer of energy. To respond to your, your query we firstly wish to agree with your supposition that the subject you now query upon is a large one, for in it lies an entire system of opening the gateway to intelligent infinity. You may see that some information is necessarily shrouded in mystery by our desire to preserve the free will of the adept. The great key to blue, indigo, and finally, the great capital of the column of sexual energy transfer, violet energy, transfers, is the metaphysical bond or distortion which is the name among your peoples of unconditional love. In the blue ray energy transfer, the quality of this love is refined in the fire of honest communication and clarity, this, shall we say, Normally speaking in general, takes a substantial portion of your space-time to accomplish although there are instances of matings so well refined in previous incarnations and so well remembered that the blue ray may be penetrated at once. This energy transfer is of great benefit to the seeker in that all communication from this seeker is, thereby, refined and the eyes of honesty and clarity look upon a new world. Such is the nature of blue ray energy and such is one mechanism of potentiating and crystallizing it. As we approach indigo ray transfer we find ourselves in a shadowland. We cannot give you information straight out or plain, for this is seen by us to be an infringement. We cannot speak at all of violet ray transfer as we do not, again, desire to break the law of confusion. We may say that these jewels, though dearly bought, are beyond price for the seeker and might suggest that just as each awareness is arrived at through a process of analysis, synthesis, and inspiration, so should the seeker approach its mate and evaluate each experience, seeking the jewel. Question 84.21 Questioner, is there any way to tell which ray the transfer was for an individual after the experience? Answer, I am Ra. There is only a subjective yardstick or measure of such. If the energies have flowed so that love is made whole, green ray transfer has taken place. If, by the same entities exchange, greater ease in communication and greater sight has been experienced, the energy has been refined to the blue ray energy center. If the polarized entities, by the same energy transfer experience, find that the faculties of will and faith have been stimulated, not for a brief while but for a great duration of what you call time, you may perceive the indigo ray transfer. We may not speak of the violet ray transfer except to note that it is an opening to the gateway of intelligent infinity. Indeed, the indigo ray transfer is also this but, shall we say, the veil has not yet been lifted. Question 84.22 Questioner, did most Logwa plan, before the veil, to create a system of random sexual activity or the specific pairing of entities for specific periods of time, or did they have an objective in this respect? Answer, I am Ra. This shall be the last full query of this working. The harvest from the previous creation was that which included the male and female mind, body, spirit. It was the intention of the original Logwa that entities mate with one another in any fashion which caused the greater polarization. It was determined, after observation of the process of many logwa, that polarization increased manyfold if the mating were not indiscriminate. Consequent logwa thusly preserved a bias towards the mated relationship which is more characteristic of more disciplined personalities and of what you may call higher densities. The free will of each entity, however, was always paramount and a bias only could be offered. 
May we ask if there may be any brief queries before we leave this instrument? Question 84.23 Questioner, is there any way that we can make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. We would ask that each of the support group be especially vigilant in the, what you would call, immediate future due to this instrument's unbidden but serious potential for increased distortion toward illness health. You are most conscientious. We thank you, my friends, and leave you in the glorious light and love of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.